no, Commissioner. Okay, Commissioner. He's here, Commissioner. That's right, Commissioner. Yes, Commissioner. I'll get on him. I'll let him know when he gets here, Commissioner. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just chatting on the bat phone for a second there. It's a dream come true for me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our Batman show, and my first guest cleaned up crooks, creeps, and crumbs all through Gotham City. Let's give a big hand to the Cape Crusader himself, Batman, better known as Adam West. Adam West. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You're a well-loved uh, character. Batman, did you had any idea when they came to you initially to do the part that it was going to be this successful and live on for all these years? I had no idea, Will, until tonight. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you do great pole work. Oh, did I come down the pole okay? Yes. Well, we thought we did that as a tribute to you. That was very nice. Now, you guys used to run through the pole, and then you'd, you'd, be, uh, you'd change clothes on the way down. I couldn't do that, of course. No, we were very, very, very quick. Very quick. How did they do that? Uh, movie magic. <laughs> movie magic. <laughs> yeah, we stopped the camera, started another one down below, of course. Yeah. Uh, some of the problems were uh, fresh paint on the poles. <laughs> <laughs> would, they do, they would, would they do a lot of stuff to you just oh, to get yeah. you occasionally? Uh, I'd say something like uh, to Bert, to Robin, lifting the bald pate of Shakespeare and hitting the switch. To the bat poles, Robin, we'd head for the library walls as fast as we could. Nobody would open the walls. So <laughs> 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 So this is how we suffered to bring you this terribly serious high drama. Uh-huh. Now, <laughs> what am I doing with these gloves? Those are the, uh, the official back gloves. Yes, they're my driving gloves. Driving. I will... <laughs> now, did that bring back memories getting in there? When was the last oh, time absolutely. you were in the car? I just found a quarter on the seat. <laughs> uh, <we're... laughs> well, may I do something sure. that I just thought of here as I took off these crime-fighting gauntlets? Nobody's ever worn these except myself and my eight-year-old son, of course. Would you like to try one? Oh, you bet. Would you like to wear yeah. the, real, the real Batman gloves? It would be an honor. Oh, ooh. Ooh, this is an honor. This is a thrill a lot of kids don't get. <laughs> I, I got a talk show so I could do this bat show. You know, they're very becoming. Uh, <laughs> you, you punched a lot of crooks with these babies. Absolutely. Those are the gloves. You are now wearing the gloves that have bested Penguin, Riddler. Egghead, Catwoman, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freeze. <laughs> you, <want me> to... <laughs> you forgot the other villains. <laughs> I, know, I know. Wait, wait. I hate them. I hate them. I blocked them out. They're all. They're all in the slammers. They're seriously. all. They're all. Well, yeah. you had some great actors come through that show. Absolutely, a lot of terrific actors. And uh, well, let me ask you. Before Batman, you were doing a lot of film acting work. Um, what did What did you think? They came to you and said, "We want you to get in these tights." and play this character Batman? Well, my first reaction was, oh, wait a minute, hey, I'm trying to have a serious career here. I didn't know there'd be a, a Batman party night here with Will <laughs> in those days. But I had done, I just finished a picture in Europe. I had an offer to do several other films, and I'd come back here to see my family, and they told me that 20th Century Fox was considering doing Batman. And I groaned a little, but I decided to go out and listen and I'm glad I did because it was one of the funniest pilot scripts I've ever read. And I've done 12 pilots. Mm -hmm. And I just feel very privileged to have done the show. Yeah, well, it, it was a great show. And it's an international success in, what, 108 countries? Do you, do you travel around to some of the other countries where it's a hit? And I'll be going to London uh, probably uh, uh, in a week. And uh, over there, I will be promoting the Batman movie that we did a few years ago. Uh, which again is becoming as crazy. It's playing all over the world now. They have Batman nights in theaters, and everybody dresses up like Will does. <laughs> about 11:30 p.m. They don't have the gloves. Oh no, they don't they have. They don't have the gloves. The original gloves, and they come to watch the movie. A friend of mine, Hal Lifson, uh, who's a manager, Julie Newmar, some other people, is promoting the picture and really getting the word out. So I've been asked to. Uh, come talk about it in mm -hmm. a few places. Hey, your voice, I would imagine on a phone, people just know you. When you call information or something, they just know you? It gets embarrassing. I can't get away with anything. I really can't. It's like, 
So if you call like a phone sex number, they know you. That's right. I, there's, there's no phone sex in my life. It's terribly embarrassing. It's is not this, only the credit card and the name. I, I tried to use my Batman credit card. Uh -huh. But I may... <laughs> I may... I'm just you should kidding. see what I got. I, <laughs> you know, your bat is bigger than mine, and I don't like this. I, I made a, a, an international phone call the other day, and the operator, I think she was Italian, said, Right away, Batman! <laughs> I, you know, really, I can't get away with anything. Yeah, well, you know, as kids, we were fans. I mean, I was such a fan, we even made a Batman movie. I got, it was the first one. I got, when my dad gave me a movie camera when we were kids, and we made a little Batman movie, so I'll, we'll, we'll show a little of that. Good, because I understand that you, Will Schreiner, directed the first directed. Batman movie. Well, this is our version. Okay. <laughs> Here's a little look. My brother was in this. We had all the kids and all the characters. Here we are. Right? <laughs> there, I'm the thug in that right there taking a shot. <laughs> we, we, we learned all your stunts. We used to punch each other. <laughs> See, we, we went all out. We killed kids making these things. And then the, this is my brother, Ken, who was the Joker. We had Cesar Romero on here one day, and we showed uh, a, a clip from this. But uh, this was a... And, well, Batman and Robin, of course, come back and sa save the day. It goes on uh, for hours. We don't that is really fun stuff. Yeah. We, we, I really... I, yeah. I was such a fan. Yeah. Now, let me... I, I it looked like us when we first started. Uh -huh. You two guys. Yeah. Now, when you, when you had to wear those tights... <laughs> oh, gosh. When, after tights, I got them on underneath. In uh -huh. case there's a crime, and I see there might be. But now, there must have been days, a big lunch... <laughs> <laughs> where he just didn't want to squeeze it. Oh, the big it. lunch days uh, you want you to come talk back about. To work? <laughs> With all the Margaritaville stuff, but no. Uh, the costume had its restrictions. Uh, yes, after uh, large, sumptuous, long lunches, occasionally you would hang over your utility belt a little. <laughs> and some, somebody would always take that picture and it would end up in 18 magazines, of course. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about what you're doing now. You have a new film coming out? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> no, I've done. Maybe hopefully, <laughs> they're having a little problem. I understand with the release date, but I have three pictures to be released in '88. One is from Canon. It's called "Doing Time on Planet Earth," in which I play a guy who thinks he's an alien, and I have an army of ETs, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to get off this garbage heap called Earth <laughs> tonight. Tonight. Second picture is a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of an ordinary, straightforward, Sturgis-like romantic comedy called Mad About You. I have a third film, which I play a rotten CIA agent sniveling with his dope ring. Wow, the well, Far East. Uh, so you're, you're busy all the time. You pretty much stay bat busy, as they say. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. yes. Well, I, I've been very fortunate. Well, I've had an excellent uh, ten years. Yeah. Well, it's a thrill to have you on the show. Can you stick around for the rest of it with all of our other bet partners? Hey, I wouldn't miss it. All right, you great. can't get rid of me. All right. Adam West and I will continue our Batman show right after this. Julie Newmar, Batwoman's coming out. Stan Firm Batman. The fur will fly with that felonious feline Tim Patel. Batwoman, Julie Newmar, next.